What is up guys, it's Slat. Today I'm gonna to show you how to use Baritone through Impact uh, to build basically whatever structure you want in Minecraft as long as you have the schematic file for it. So first step, you're gonna to wanna to navigate to the Baritone GitHub page. I'll link it in the description, but it's right there. Go ahead and scroll down here and click Impact. This is gonna be brought up. Go ahead and install which one you want for your uh, operating system. You should get something like this. Go ahead and open it up. And go ahead and select 1.12 because 1.13 is broken for building, I believe. So this is the setup that I used and it worked fine. Go ahead and click install. And there you go. Now go ahead and download a schematic from online. I have downloaded this one here, which is called the Redeemer. Um, and it's basically the Christ the Redeemer statue. And if you don't know how to get there, go ahead and type percent app data percent. Minecraft and then schematics folder if you haven't uh, made it already go ahead and do that and then just put your schematic file in there you can find them online just through Google and stuff pretty easy go ahead and launch Minecraft and your impact should be front and center right here go ahead and click play Loading, loading, loading. All right, go ahead and create a new world just to test things out. I made mine a super flat creative world just to make things super easy. Go ahead and load it up and get away from any structures like villages because I found that to be a little annoying. All righty, now you can see there's some new GUI here in the top left and the bottom right. Go ahead and click right shift on your keyboard and you'll get this little HUD here. So you can click, left click and drag these around and to open and close them you can right click. And you can see here we have this module in movement called baritone. And I have this off uh, just because I found it to be easier when building. I'm not sure if it actually makes a difference, but yeah. Go ahead and escape. Now to use baritone, go ahead and click period on your keyboard. B for baritone. Build Redeemer, which is the name of the schematic file. Click enter, or you do coordinates like one and one if you wanted. So you could do coordinates, or if you just want to do it where you are, just do that and leave it blank. You can see here it says unable to do it, and the reason for that is because I don't have the correct materials in my hotbar. And to know what materials you need for your schematic file, there's a nifty program called Schematic 2 Blueprint. I'll link it in the description. And it's basically super helpful because it tells you what materials you're going to need for the schematic file. So you're going to go ahead and open up your schematic file. There we go. Open that up. And it's basically going to give you a top-down view of all the layers in the build that you have. As you can see, it's all obsidian. If you want to figure out how many blocks of obsidian it's going to take, tools, count blocks, you can see here it's 25,856 blocks of obsidian here, which is like 404 stacks, uh, quick math there. But that's what you would do if you want to find out what materials you need. If you were to do this in survival, say maybe on your favorite anarchy server, uh, in Minecraft, maybe the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft. Uh, it's up to you. Go ahead and run that same command. Okay, that's odd. There you go. All I had to do is cancel that old one that I had running. And basically, it's going to pathfind on its own. And as long as you have the resources available in your hotbar, then it's going to go ahead and start building the structure. If you do want to pause it, go ahead and press period, B, pause. You'll get more materials. Come back, B, resume. You can't type. And it's going to keep building. 
And I think this structure took about one to two hours to build. I don't remember exactly, but uh, it's going to take forever. So I'm going to go ahead and take a peek at the finished product in another world. Go ahead and cancel that. And this is what it looks like when it's completely done, which is pretty dope, if you ask me. And it's all in obsidian, so if someone wanted to grief it, it would be very hard. And I did renovate the inside, put some glowstone down for effect so you could kind of see, because it was very dark. But uh, yeah, this is the finished product. Um, that's all there really is to it. If you have a smaller build, it would be a lot more convenient to use. Um, you just run the run the command, super easy, and it'll just start building for you automatically. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave a comment down below, and I'll be happy to answer that for you. Um, he does have a list of all the commands you can use on his GitHub page, so do not be afraid to keep all of the setup and features that you can use all the commands uh, so that's super helpful um, yeah so that being said that's about it if you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe um, I might do more videos like this in the future so uh, without, for, without being said thanks so much for watching